Hey Aquarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If this reading resonates for you, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm available for personal love readings should you guys need one. Aquarius, um, let's see, your extended bonus reading is um, now up on Vimeo. How does your person feel for January 2022? All right, the link is in the description box. Let's jump right in. Aquarius, what's up? What is the challenge for Aquarius and love? What is going on in their love life? What are they to know? <laughs> All right, Aquarius, clear messages, please. The justice, okay. Aquarius, I feel like there could be justice um, that you want with regard to a situation. This speaks about balance, reciprocity, equal give and take, right? Maybe there's something where the, the scales were not balanced with regard to a connection you were in. Maybe you gave a lot and this person gave very little. Maybe you felt this person has wronged you. Some of you guys are going through a court matter or a legal situation, okay? That is the challenge for you right now. That is something that's playing a big role in your life. But the justice is that you just want to be treated fairly. You want to be treated right. Now, some of you guys, you may be expecting communication from someone. We have a lot of movement coming in. We have a lot of changes coming in for January. This could be someone reaching out to you like a friend, a lover. Um, there's been some kind of ending here in your life with someone, Aquarius. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or a air sign, particularly a Libra. Uh, there's been an ending here that has left you both kind of feeling quite damn devastated. You know, you, you kind of both are hit rock bottom with regard to a situation maybe you guys have not talked in a really long time and there's finally communication coming in because something here has not been a victory something has failed um it looks like maybe this person has failed you at least you feel that way it's like well how come you didn't stand up for me how come you didn't do right by me right with the justice card so yeah i feel like there could be some kind of movement with regard to a connection that may have came to an end fairly quickly and abruptly okay now aquarius in the past we have the eight of pentacles in reverse the nine of swords with the hierophant so there's definitely some kind of commitment that you were in or you were committed to some kind of re relationship partnership and i feel like there's someone that wasn't giving it their all okay we have this eight of pentacles and reverse. someone here wasn't invested they weren't um spending time with you they weren't putting in the effort to make something happen i just get the sense that they were not contributing fairly or enough right and so it brought forth a lot of anxieties worries stress here someone here was up in their head about with regard to an investment in this partnership and um yeah this could have been you aquarius with all those swords there could have been something here where you couldn't sleep at night because of the situation all right let's see some of you guys has affected your work, okay, your work productivity, your work life. On your mind is that seven of swords. So that's, that's that person's looking at that justice card. So there's someone here, Aquarius, that you're looking back at and you're feeling like, well, you, you really hurt me. Because at seven of swords, you lied, you cheated, you went behind your, my back, you did something here that was sneaky and, you know, that justice. I want you to repent. <laughs> I want justice in a situation, right? The tower in the verse, wow. And knight of cups in verse. So the tower in the verse is that there's something here that maybe you've been avoiding or this person has been avoiding. Maybe you've been avoiding this person altogether because, you know, you're kind of like, I, I care about you, but I just cannot show you my love you know um you know it's like i love you deep down but i can't i can't offer my cup right now so i feel like there's someone here in your life aquarius that you're avoiding because you may have gone through a really difficult ending with the tower the nine and the ten of swords and i feel like it really shook this connection at the core i feel like with the tower you may be going through a big big uh realization epiphany that someone here you just obviously you honestly cannot trust entirely maybe you weren't seeing something very clearly before with that tower it's like now you are and you want you want justice now in the foundation, we have this Ace of Cups reverse the Moon, the Fool card, and the Judgment. We have all these major arcanas here. 
could be done with an Aries, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel someone here wants to make a decision. This could be someone in your environment. Someone is ready to make some kind of big decision regarding an opportunity with you. The Fool card, I feel like this person is thinking about a new journey, new path. You know, there's some risk, obviously, maybe because you don't trust this person. That can be very risky to move forward in a new direction with this person. Um... But I also feel like there's a lot of things that are hidden, okay? We're going to find out what that may be. The moon card speaks about things that are not seen to the eye, you know? Things this person may have been doing behind the scenes. They didn't want to tell you. And it could explain why something here didn't come together. It could explain why there wasn't kind of falling out of a relationship that you had with someone. Or even why a relationship never manifested, as far as the outcome, we have the Three of Cups, the Reverse, the Hangman, and the Eight of Cups. Someone here is walking away because I'm, they're saying, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with what I've been presented. I've been waiting for something. I've been thinking about and assessing, and I just feel like I'm not happy. So there could be someone here, Aquarius, that you're not coming into union with just yet. You may feel like, you know, emotionally, they're just not meeting your needs anymore, okay? The three cups and verses that you just don't see yourself coming together with them. Now, you may need time to think about it before you're emotionally dis uh, connect or invest, okay? Because the hangman is assessing and... um. Looking at things from a different perspective, maybe you are seeing something narrow-minded or one-sided, right? And so I think a lot of you guys, you may be playing it safe and emotionally disconnecting from someone before you make a decision. So let's get some more clarity, Aquarius. Any all messages for Aquarius? Like, share, comment, subscribe if this is your reading, your extended bonus reading. How does your person feel is up on Vimeo. Give me a card for the Justice card. Why is a justice card here for Aquarius? Three of Cups in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse. So yeah, there's definitely something here that you're stressing about. And uh, maybe you are getting, you want justice because you've been in your head about this. There's something regarding maybe a third party. Some of you guys, there's a reason why you and this person are not together. Three of Cups in reverse. It's like there's some kind of delay with regard to a reunion or a reconciliation right now. I feel like you and this person have not talked in many months or several weeks. And there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. And I think a lot of you guys, it's like you want, you want to be treated fairly. Early. you want justice you want to be seen you want to be heard you want to be respected and some of you guys they may have stepped out of the boundaries with regard to a third party and it brought you a lot of hurt so some of you guys you're disconnecting from someone with the four of swords all right let's see what this uh ten of swords is about what is this ending about now this ten of swords can be experienced by you and this person. We have this two of wands and the king of wands in verse. So you could be dealing with a Leo Sag Aries, someone here who was reluctant to move forward with you. I feel like this is someone who made a lot of promises they didn't keep. There was a need for this person to take action, but they didn't. I feel like this is someone you relied on, but you know, they've proven themselves to be unreliable to you, Aquarius. And I feel like this is someone who's been very unsure and decisive, maybe about you. They could be struggling in making a decision regarding you and someone else. And that could have been the Ten of Swords. That could have made you feel like, well, damn, I must not mean anything to you. So why is the Six of Wands in a verse? Something has not been victorious because we have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Something has not been victorious or um, you've not been able to achieve what you want because of the someone's investments. I mean, simple as that. Either you invested too much, this person invested too little. Um, there was a lot of conflict regarding that. There was a lot of arguing and fighting regarding uh, what are you putting into this connection? How much time are you spending with me? Quality time? You know, that was a big issue here. And I'm seeing that as a result, that's why something here wasn't, wasn't a victory. You felt you weren't being acknowledged. You want, you know, six of wands and verses like, you, you're not seeing me. You're not, hello, I'm here. You know what I mean? So why is this eight of wands here? What, what is this communication about? Seven of Pentacles came out in the verse with the Hermit. Now, something is moving forward after a period of rest. The Hermit is speaking about isolation, withdrawal. Um, you know, maybe there's been a brief time of, you know, where you guys just completely disconnected. There's been like a break or a hiatus. Um, but I get the sense it's a temporary break because it's telling me that during this Hermit, there was a need um, for you both to think about your investments, think about what you wanted, right? You planted seeds in this connection. What? Do, how did you want to see it grow? Where do you see this connection going, right? Seven of Pentacles, you're spending all this time and energy and effort into this relationship and, and with each other. 
What do you expect to get out of it? That's what the seven of pentacles is about. And so there's something about now thinking about it, uh, really stopping to think because maybe this person hasn't had time to think about it and figure it out. So there is finally some kind of movement because someone has had time to really connect with themselves and get some guidance. So give me the recent past. What is this hierophant about? Something regarding a commitment. Maybe you guys are married to this person. The Hierophant in a verse and the King of Swords in verse. Some of you guys, you felt this person lied to you about, about a commitment. Maybe they were in a commitment with someone else simultaneously. Some of you guys, it's like you were promised a commitment with this person and you never got it, okay? There was some kind of lies here. Why is the, oops, why is the Eight of Pentacles in a verse, okay? Let's see. Eight of Pentacles in a verse for the recent past for Chris. Ten of Cups and a Nine of Cups in verse. So, you know, I think that ultimately you weren't happy and satisfied with the way this person showed up in this relationship. That's what it came down to. It's like this person was, may have been with you, you know, quote unquote, but you, they weren't there. They weren't present. They weren't there for your needs and supportive. They weren't spending that quality time with you. They weren't putting in the time, right? There may have been other priorities in their life. And ultimately, the Nine of Cups in verse, you just weren't happy. You weren't satisfied. This is not what you envisual, uh, visualized, right? For a happy relationship, Ten of Cups in verse, okay? So that had to change. It brought a lot of anxieties, a lot of overthinking. Why is the Nine of Swords here? seven of cups you you know you're very confused about where you stood with this person how this person truly felt about you because actions speak louder than words right and i feel like this person not showing up not participating not initiating it showed you that maybe this person wasn't taking this connection as serious as you were so give me the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords nine of pentacles and a four of cups i think a lot of you guys you realize you can't trust this person and you can only trust yourself. So some of you with the Nine of Pentacles, you are, you're single, you're working on yourself. That's that independent card, you know, boss babe type status, you know. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is really about standing on your own two feet and being okay with it, being okay with being single, not needing anyone to complete you, right? And so that Four of Cups, yeah, there's a feeling of a missed opportunity. What we had, it seems so great. I feel like we were really in love, but you know, damn, you know, it. there's a missed opportunity. There's an energy of feeling like, I'm not happy about this, um, you know, but it is what it is. So the four cups is here because it's speaking about you not being happy with what's been offered. Simple as that. You want more and you know you deserve more. Why is the tower in a verse? Three of wands in a verse and a judgment in a verse. I feel that someone here was avoiding making a big decision about you. I feel this is someone that you've been waiting on for a really long time with the Three of Wands and then nothing came in. Um, but the Tower did, right? Because the Tower is like the universe intervening and saying, you know what? This ain't going to go on like this any more longer, right? Because I think a lot of you Aquarius, you've been holding on to a situation or a person thinking that they were going to change or were finally going to make a decision about you, but they never did. And so that Tower has uh, perhaps made a decision for you you know it's uncomfortable to have to go through but there's something that maybe you weren't ready to make a decision about the judgment is in reverse and it took this tower moment it took something crushing or I'm sorry cr crumbling um down in your life with regard to a partnership in order for you to realize that you know what this is someone here that i can't keep giving my love to because they're always going to expect that I'm just going to be there for them. And the Three of Wands in verse, that's when you stop waiting. That's when you stop expecting. And that's when you stop investing. So give me the moon card. I feel like there's someone, you know what, let me start off with the judgment. There's some kind of decision your person is wanting to make. There's someone in the environment here. Why is the judgment card here? There's some kind of big decision. They want to blow the horn on. What is this about? The chariot in a verse and the death. So someone is saying, this ain't working, it's not moving forward, there's no change, there's no progression, I have to change things. So this is someone who's wanting to make a final decision about bringing some kind of change to this relationship. It's not moving in the right direction, so what do I got to do? I got to change the way I show up. I got to change the way I behave. So someone is recognizing that, you know what? something's got to be done okay and it starts with me give me uh and this could be a cancer or a scorpio give me this uh fool card this is a new beginning that your person may be wanting to come in with uh this comes with risk 
it's about taking on a challenge, a new opportunity. Why is the full card here? Aries energy, the emperor in reverse, and the queen of wands in reverse. Wow. So some of you guys, um, if you know my readings, the queen of wands, if I'm not doing a fire sign reading, it typically is the other person. So they could be a third party that is interfering in this connection. Could be a, a family member. Could be a romantic lover, an ex, or someone. Um, this is someone who's willing to make a... Uh, I'm getting either closing out a third party situation. Give me a card on the queen of wands. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is no longer investing in this Queen of Wands, okay? So this could be a third party. This person has been interfering or sorry, dealing with, allowing this Queen of Wands to interfere. I feel like this is someone they've been entertaining on the side. There's, there's no more of that. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse, I don't feel like this person sees this Queen of Wands as a long-term option. And therefore, there could be a decision they're having to make regarding that Queen of Wands and not move forward with that situation, put an end to it with the Death card, okay? Now, this emperor in the verse is wanting to take a new beginning this is someone here that may have not been ready for a new beginning may have made promises that they didn't keep may have had um you know may have rejected your love offer in the past even give me the card on the moon card what is something here that we don't know about this emperor there's some kind of uh, i want to say secret or fear what is this moon card about Wow, the Tower, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. This person is in their head, um, anxiety, worries. This is someone who wants, obviously, a reconciliation with you. They are thinking about all the good times, the past, the memories, the experiences with you. And I feel like the Tower is something that they're going through as well. Big, big wake-up call, big realization, epiphany. This is someone who feels like they're going to lose you. And I think that's why this Eight of Swords is here. They're stressing over what they may have lost. Because look at the Six of Cups. It's a beautiful energy of someone who they really, really uh, jived with. Uh, a lot of love, a lot of good memories and experiences. And this is someone who is, I'm getting like they're panicking because they realized with this tower that they may have given up on this. And so there's a, there's that energy of the moon card. It could be fears, right? There, there's fears. There's illusions maybe they had um, regarding coming towards you and offering you a love. And now that's being destroyed with the tower, right? Those illusions are, are gone now. And, and now this person is seeing something differently, but they're feeling stuck, feeling tied, feeling bound, feeling like, well, how do I get out of this now? The moon also talks about secrets, right? Some of you guys, they had a secret and now it's coming out, the tower. And it's making them feel stuck. What do I do? How do I... How do I have this reconciliation if now I'm in this really difficult situation now, right? All these secrets have come out, you know, so there, there could be many different things with that whole, uh, with this energy here. Now, what I'm seeing is that I feel, Aquarius, you're going to be putting this connection on hold. Why? Because it's been emotional for you, you know, it, it's Venus retrograde, right? What do you expect, right? But the hangman is really doing some deep thinking, it could be regarding a reconnection with someone. Why is the hangman here? I feel like Aquarius, it may be safe for you, or at least you're feeling it may be safe for you to walk away emotionally from a situation. Maybe someone has to walk away from another connection in order to come toward you. Take it how it resonates. We have the four pentacles. And we have the queen of swords in verse. I think a lot of you guys, you're holding back. Your first instinct is to hold back. Me, 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 my, my, mind. Protect what I have. Protect my heart. You know, Hold on to what you have, Aquarius, because you've lost so much, right? And so this Queen of Swords in verse, some of you guys, you're cutting off this person. You may feel like this person isn't telling you the entire truth, right? What is this uh, Eight of Cups? Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. This person is going to be um, in really bad shape. When you walk away, this is someone here it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or another air sign like you, Aquarius. Um, I feel like there's someone coming in towards you for movement, for change, and you're kind of like walking away from them. Okay, and that's for some of you guys. Um, but I get the sense that, yeah, you're going to have to really think about this with the hangman. Don't make any quick movements, okay? It's Venus retrograde. Okay? Don't make any quick movements. Wait at least until the end of the month, early February, if anything, right? Um, because the hangman is really, really assessing, um, trying to look at things from different perspectives, different point of views, making sure you got everything, you're crossing your T's, you're dotting your eyes, okay? And again, the challenge is to do something that's best for you, that's fair for you. Um, don't allow someone to inconvenience you. Don't be put under the, the pressure. You don't need to do that. The justice card is really about fairness, equality. 
and and really really about making sure at the end of the day your needs are met okay <laughs> so Aquarius that is what I have for you guys like share comment and subscribe I hope you enjoyed this reading and your extended bonus reading is up on Vimeo for January all right you guys take care bye